Hey friends, this is John Sunville here, and welcome to my first ever video drawing tutorial. The first of hopefully more to come in future, depending on if this video is successful or not. So, without f further ado, let's get started. Now, I am using Paint or Sci, but you can follow along on any drawing program whatsoever. Um, even traditional pencil paper you can follow along. So that is why, file new, I'll be using the A4 300 DPI preset for this tutorial. Okay, now actually I think I'll just flip this 90 degrees and I'll zoom in, whoops, I'll zoom in like so. All right, let's get down to it. I like to use the crayon brush just because it has that pencil-y, grainy texture to it. I think it's nice for drawing guidelines. Get, I get pretty used to it, so I'll be using that for the guidelines. Okay. So, first of all, I will draw an oval. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. But notice that it is generally narrower towards the bottom than it is at the top, and it is quite skinny. Most other artists have different styles, some make it like really wide, wide. but this is just my style, hopefully you can learn something from it. And so from this I will cut the oval in half. and then I will cut it in half again horizontally. So just try to eyeball it. Cool and from there from this point to this point I will cut that in half again and finally from this point to this point move it down a third and the, there's where the this is where the eyes will go, this is where the nose will go, and this is where the mouth will go. Okay, I will lower the opacity and create a new layer. And let's just zoom in a little bit. I'm using a Microsoft Surface Pro, that's why it's, everything seems a little small, but I hope you can bear with me here. So, from here, I will find out where the eyes will go and to do this I usually take this line where it hits this oval line here sort of this point move up and I'll draw a line a pointer on this line here going horizontally and that is where the corner of the left eye will go the left corner of the left eye since we're looking at it from the front and what you want to do is look at this space from this line to the middle and duplicate that distance on the other side. Just eyeball it. It all takes practice. Lots of practice. And don't be discouraged about that. Um, almost anything you do, if you want to be good at it, it takes practice. So now that we have that established, we'll try to divide this distance from these between these two points in two thirds. So just guessing and that's about it. Because as you should know, the space between two eyes is the length of one of the eyes. Just a basic rule of anatomy really. And this is just a very general face, so We'll be going by those rules today. Now that we have that established, we can place the eyes, but I always start on the nose first before I go to the eyes. It's just my process of doing things. So to establish the nose, I get this distance from here to the middle and cut that in half and do that for the other side. And that's the nose bridge. Now at the top of the nose, it sort of angles outwards 
and as you go down. The tip of the nose can be defined as a sphere in some cases, but again there's like a diverse range of noses. Um, I suggest you look at different kinds of noses and find your own technique for how they are formed, but this is just one way of doing it. So I just add a little sphere there and the nostrils just go underneath the sphere they sort of curve up just a little bit and then come around they reach as far as the corner of the eye so I'll just draw the lines going down here so just a little bit and of course I don't know what you call these but they also curve out so they touch that line there, okay? Now the nose does curve in slightly at, in this particular nose. It curves in slightly and then just goes outwards. Now we will place the eyes. So what I do is I go to this little, just this point here and draw an angle going up angling up like so, then around, and then hooks down just a little bit, and note that this corner of the eye is higher than the tear duct. I think you'll find that's common in most eyes. And so at the bottom it'll curve around, because the eyeball is basically a sphere shape, curves around the eye and then meets back up with the tear duct. Okay. And then you just draw the irises in the middle of this eye. Note that the top part is partially covered by the top of the eyelid. Now just for the purpose of speeding things along, I'll just copy this across. But get used to um, drawing it yourself. I mean, because you can't do this kind of thing on a traditional piece of paper. So just try to duplicate it yourself on the other side. And that's your eyes. Let's move on to the mouth. The mouth extends as far as the middle of the eyes. So I'll just draw two lines going down the middle of the eyes. And since the face isn't exactly flat, you'll make these lines curve downwards, curve in towards the chin, and from there you can establish the mouth. Now the mouth has a little sort of V in the middle, this is what I do with some of my drawings, just add that little V in, and then it goes down, downwards, and then curves back. So up, down, and then up again. But then at the very corners of the mouth, it makes one final curve. You can either have it downwards or upwards. For this, I'll just make them slightly down. And then what I always do is just establish the bottom part of the lip. Just very small, doesn't have to be perfect. Don't have to draw the full lips, there's just the initial guidelines. Now we can establish the eyebrows. They just slant up, across, back down, up, across, down. Okay. So just I'll just erase these guidelines. Now drawing the outline of the face itself, I will go to the edge of this oval and just start drawing a line down. Now one thing I like to do is establish the cheek. 
due to the uh, scale, there will be a slight curve inwards, just at the top here, sort of halfway between, it starts halfway between the, this line and this line for the nose, eyes, and then you can just continue with the rest of the jaw. Sometimes I like to just go ahead and find the bottom of the chin, it's a bit easier, and then just connect that up. And then you'll have to reproduce this on the other side, so. Maybe the mouth is a bit too big. If you f find that's the case, just sort of chop off the ends a bit. Not too much. And... match them up. Okay. So that's the jaw complete. Now, one thing I do is I flip this horizontally to see any mistakes. That's a good way of testing if your um, drawing is like close to being perfect or not, just flip it horizontally and you'll be able to see any mistakes. And I can see that the jaw is tilting a little bit. So if I just go back. And just connect that up. as close as possible. It's, that one sticks out a bit more than the other side, so we'll just... correct it a little bit. And that's looking good. For the top of the head, all it does is just go around like so. One thing before I go, I better add in the ears. So the ears, they start at somewhere near the this line where we drew for the eyes, and they end at the bottom of the nose. So just sort of start down, draw the tip, and curve round. It's a front view, so they'll be slightly narrower than they usually see them. And just apply this to the other side. Okay. So, thanks for watching this video tutorial. Um, be sure to uh, look out for the next part coming soon. I'll be adding in some more details, refining this a bit more, add hair maybe, and get into shading, stuff like that. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.